So many of you might get a letter that looks something like this. And it says, open immediately, renewal information enclosed. And it talks about a domain. And you know you've got a domain. I can't tell you how many uh, questions I get from clients each week about this letter. And you, it, you read this letter, and it will list your domain. It'll tell you the date. It says your domain set to expire. It says the price for one year is $50, two years, 90, and five years is 190, best value. You can also get these other available domains and pay now, we need your credit card number. The question I get, whoa, is this real? Is this a scam? I thought you were taking care of this or what's going on? So first off, I've underlined a section here and it says you are under no obligation to pay the amount below. This is not necessarily a scam. But it is a hustle. And what I mean by that is this. No one that you're paying money to online for a domain will mail you uh, a mailer for you to fill out your credit card. A, this is the least secure way you could possibly send your credit card information. B, it's the less sure way you can know how to manage your domain. If you send a domain to these guys, and let's say you got a new web designer in another three to five years, and they go, hey, where's your domain? You would shrug and go, I don't know. And they can't build you a new website. The other thing is that this is $50 a year. Most domains, 50 bucks a year, most domains don't cost any more than $20 a year. So not only is that least secure possible, not only um, is it a hustle that you don't need, chances are your credit card's gonna renew your domain at GoDaddy, which is where I hope you have your domain or wherever you have your domain. Um, so is it a scam? No, it's a hustle, but it's a hassle hustle. So please, as soon as you see something, that says domain registry, toss it away. Unless you purchased a domain from domain registry, which I hope you didn't, throw it away. It's a complete waste of your time and energy. So that's the internet web presence scam of the week. <laughs> uh, hopefully you educate a little bit. You can just toss those away, no worries. But things you should do, and this happened actually this week, make sure that you have an updated credit card wherever your domain is at and make sure it's connected to your domain. We just had a client a prominent client whose website went down strictly because they didn't renew their domain. Grant and State of the Spark, typically we manage your website and your web hosting. Your website might be down for those reasons, but your domain going down because of lack of payment is the most frequent reason for your website to not be up and running. True facts. Talk to you soon.